There was no doubt about the quality of the product at the Lyceum, when more than 60 stunning beauties lined up on the night of the Miss World final. Graham Hill and Stanley Baker with Richard Todd were judges. Some job. This was Miss Argentina. Miss Australia. Miss France. Miss Israel. Miss Guyana. And the homegrown favorite, Miss United Kingdom. Somehow, the panel of experts managed to decide on a last 15. Then, poor things, they had to cast their eyes along the line again to whittle the marvelous Misses down to a succulent seven. Well, there they were, seven gorgeous girls just second away from that final decision. Oh, the agony of it. And there she was, Miss World 1968. Penny Plummer, the blonde from Down Under. As they say in Australia, what a beaut. This was the moment of beautiful triumph as the retiring queen, Peru's Madeleine Hartog Bell, installed the new monarch of female proportions. Ahead of the 18-year-old Super Miss waits a magic year. 2,500 pounds was already hers in prize money. But during the next 365 glamour-packed days, there are also 40,000 pounds worth of engagements just waiting for her. Penny used to be a librarian. From now on, the only books she'll have to look after will be legends. It's not so different from launching any other modern product. The annual campaign to top the sales curves in the beauty business demands all the techniques of modern marketing. Publicity, promotion, presentation, and the greatest of these is presentation. To attract the eye, packaging is all important. It must be outstanding, well proportioned, and superbly finished. In such a competitive business, success can literally hang by a hairdo. Here we are then, among the high pressure and low calories of the beauty championship of the world. And here's a finished result imported from Australia. 18-year-old Angela Stecker, her ambition to meet the Beatles. Lavelle Rosebud Wordy, exotic name for this African beauty. And Mitziana Stander from Jova. Kathleen Wynne Stanley from Wigan, the United Kingdom won three years ago. Johnine Avery wants to see our traditional architecture. Meanwhile, just look at hers. Altogether, 53 girls are eligible for the title, Miss Lebanon being found too young, and Miss Spain having dropped out in a row with Gibraltar. Penelope Plummer, once trapped in a lift with 14 men. Nelly Galer, hoping to meet singer Tom Jones. Adrian Harris, hoping to become a doctor. June McMahon from Dublin, wants to excel in the beauty world. She's certainly well on the way. Miri Zamir, another Beatle fancier, soon to become an Israeli soldier. Cecilia Amabuyak, but her nickname's Pinky. Cornelia Frieden speaks three languages and looks good in all of them. Pinarut Tananchai likes sewing and gardening. Kathleen Wynne Stanley again. She's in charge of the meals at a grammar school near Wigan. Very dishy. Ivona Pohiera wants to meet Bobby Charlton.
But the big question now is to decide the final score. And here it comes. Third, Miss Israel, the 18-year-old model from Haifa. Second, Miss United Kingdom from Wigan, keeping up the northern tradition of top liners. But the top line of all reads Miss Australia, the 18-year-old librarian from Sydney, Penelope Plummer. The coronation is performed by last year's title holder, Miss Peru. Rapturous applause for the blue-eyed blonde who not only likes riding a motorbike and surfing, but also enjoys sewing and interior decorating. Her main ambition is to get married and have lots of children. And who'd say no to that?